So this one plugin is like the full package. It's like one man army can do everything when you are designing. First of all, thanks a lot for clicking on my video and I'm sure you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I'm going to show you five plugins that will make you more productive and your life easy. Hi, this is ABI Abil. Welcome to my channel, Design Thinking. Let's get into it. Plugin, basically a software inside another software, in this case Figma. It helps you to boost your productivity when you are working because you do not have to leave Figma for another software when you are designing. Especially when it comes to larger project, it helps you to stay in focus. By the way, I have one extra bonus plugin for you if you stay till the end of this video. On that note, let's start with the simple one for images. I have been using Pexels images for a very long time when I was a graphic designer and when Bruno Joseph, the co-founder of Pexels, first introduced the plugin, I was very happy because the plugin has all the potential filtering options just like the website. So it's actually very easy and simple to use. So let's click this option that says resources. Here is my plugin. Let's run the Pexels. Here it is. As you can see, there is the images man smile as i was mentioning uh, the filtering option you can choose a different orientation from here also you can filter this by color and if i want to choose this particular image all i have to do just click on the image and it will appear into figma file resize this just like any other image that's been imported inside figma and that's it. It's as simple as that. If you're learning to work with a design system and want to make a pro level color palette, then this particular plugin will help you. So to use this plugin, all you have to do, just go to the resources and you have to search for tints and shades. As you can see, this is the plugin I was talking about. You can just run it from here, but before that you can save it as it is already saved. It says remove from save plugin, but if I remove this, you will see this. It's called save. So that's it, all you have to do just run the plugin and it will show that please select a rectangle object with a fill. I just click on it, go to resources and run the plugin again. And only then it will appear and you can just click this button says generate color and it will immediately generate a color shades with proper contrast without any hassle. So just click on the rectangle go to resources run the plugin and click generate that is as simple as that this particular plugin is basically life server for me when i start to design and fully focused on design and i have to write something inside the design i make spelling mistakes more than often so the thing is that this particular plugin saves the day all the time this is the simplest design plugin in the list and using it even more simpler so all you have to do go to the resources click on plugin type spell checker here's the plugin let's run it and while this window is open you just have to click on any text and it will suggest you the errors with the red mark in it so let's just click on this and as you can see it's showing the suggestion that these spellings are not correct so all you have to do just click on the incorrect word and it will show you the suggestion the correct suggestion from the drop down just click on it and it will automatically fix in the main text very easy to use and very handy when it comes to spell checking the first thing i do in a design system is to make the typography set and in the process i have to make a font hierarchy or font size hierarchy or type scale and when I was new, I used to just guess the number and increase my level up, which is wrong, obviously. And eventually I found this plugin. So this is the plugin I was talking about, type skills. All you have to do, just go to the resources, again, type, type skills. And as it is appeared here, I have to run it. It's very simple to use and all you have to do, just adjust this number. So let me just go through this. This is the base size the body text font size so let's say i want this 18 so this is my body text size so it will be 18 and other numbers will be increased accordingly and here is the according number you have lots of options here like minor second major second also golden ratio let's go with perfect fourth for now and you can select how many size scales you want from here so let's say i want four headings 
and only one exchange font so this is my base size this is the four heading heading number one two three and four and this is my accent size and all you have to do just click on this button says generate and it will automatically generate the font scale hierarchy for you with proper documentation very simple right icons are something that you are going to use all the time when you are designing and downloading icon or copying icon from some other site and import those icons in your file and then use it it's a kind of a time killing job and i used to hate that until i found this very handy plugin so this material symbols plugin is developed by google as you can see because material symbols are from google and it's under the google font now so to use it all you have to do just go to the resources and type material symbol and you can just run it from here but before that please save it so that you can use it anytime so i'll just run it and here you will get all the icons from the google font icon and you can also select the options from outlined to rounded to sharp and you can also select filled or not fill and there is the grade you can select dark theme also emphasize and here's the normal and you can also change the size as well for a better view and obviously you can also change the width as well and the good thing is while clicking on the icon you can just change the options right from the plugin so it's actually very simple and handy to manipulate your icons from this plugin while you are designing and as you're still with me so this is the time for bonus plugin content reel is the plugin you want for your daily drive it has everything and i mean everything let's go through it so let's say you want some avatar for your design so all i have to do just go to the image and click avatar either female avatar male avatar or just some random avatar and as you can see it filled up with the random avatar you do not have to search anything you do not have to go through all the stock images to select the perfect one you just have to click on it and it will fill out the spaces you can also find lots of logos in here if you want some logo for your design you can find lots of demo text as well there are lots of demo text as you can see you can select a random number you can select random email address you can select full name some random paragraphs as well us address dates phone numbers company name currency more lorem ipsum anything you want and not just to stop there it also has fluent icons fluent icons is also developed by microsoft and it is actually a beautiful icon again you can choose from small to large for better view and definitely it has a large collection to select from and you will get all this content just from one plugin so this one plugin is like the full package it's like one man army can do everything when you are designing and finally you are still with me and i want to thank you with one extra tip so to increase your productivity and decrease your time process you have to get used to with the shortcuts so for figma shortcuts you have to click on this question icon and click keyboard shortcut and you will find all the shortcuts in here and here is one handy shortcut that will save lots of time and that is Control p Control p is the shortcut for figma search bar and you can search anything here including your plugin if the plugin is saved already you just have to type the plugin name and it will directly appear here and you can type any plugin and it will appear here and you can just press enter and it will appear right away so that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want more videos like this please subscribe and if you want to learn how to work with column and grid system inside figma then you should watch this video and i'll see you in the next one have a nice day